Vegeta. And today we are gonna make a little pore painting video for you. Um, so we have everything set up. We've got our paints. And the paint is a mixture of acrylic paint, water. Also, this is how it will look at the first place. Yes, so that's our canvas. We've got our canvases set up. Um, and we've got our canvases set up just on some expired cans uh, just to keep them off. Um, our paint is a mixture of acrylic paint, water, uh, flow troll, and then also yeah. some glue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then so we've got our everything mixed up. And then do you want to do yours first and then I'll do mine? Also, that's my mom. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to make yours first and then I'll make mine? Have we counted it at the same time? At the same time? Okay. So, let's set up. So you've got red, blue, brown. Uh, um, can I, I, I'm going like, Go to every side and see which one I want. Okay. So before we get started, um, we're gonna need some extra cups. So well, I'm just saying I'm gonna get started right now. You're gonna get started right now? Okay. Well, do you want a cup? And do you want to explain to them what you're doing? So right now I'm like pouring the paint in. Mm -hmm. And so when I like to start, I like to get my canvas all wet in one color. Do you want to do that or do you want to do it on a dry canvas? I want to do it how I do. Okay, so Jude usually does it with just a dry canvas. Um, the other thing too is that I went ahead and I prepped my canvas with um, some gesso. His is not prepped with gesso because he likes the way that it looks when the paint kind of comes off. So what he's doing is he's layering his colors in this cup together. And I will get started. So I've also got this, um, it's like ready to pour white paint. So we're gonna try this. Nice strategy. So first to start for mine, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the entire canvas. Oh, it's like pearly. See that? I can't like how that white looks. Oh, it's, like, it's like pearl. Okay, are you ready for me to do it, guys? <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to pour it. Okay. Right. I'm going to just move it. I'm just going to tilt it. Careful, don't tilt it on top of yourself, right? Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Move it back. A little bit of silicone and some of my glue. Why silicone? Because the silicone makes this kind of like bubbles. Do I put some silicone? No. In? No? Okay. Look, it already looks like it has bubbles. Yeah. That's looking great. Do you want to do one more cup so you can fill that blank spot on the side or are you all done? What do you think? Is your masterpiece complete or does it need a little bit more? Do you think you could just flat it over there? I can, but then it, it will kind of drag all of that. Yes? Yeah. To make it better? Yeah. Do you want me to do that? I would love for this to be really cool. I love these colors, dude. What about doing just like a little bit more? No, I think that's it. Or you could put like some blue right there. Or do you like it like that? Mm. Red? Red would look cool there too. I think that's good. 
think it looks great. Should we do a little bit in this corner, more purple, or what do you think? I think that's good. That's good? All done? All right. Masterpiece. Thanks for painting with me. Well, bye guys. Bye. See you on YouTube. <laughs> Cup. And then I'm gonna use, I'm using brown, blue, and white. I'm just gonna start layering the colors. I don't know how I feel about this um, pre-mixed white here. It's okay, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it like this again. But I'm gonna use more of it right now. There's enough of the internet for everybody, I think. But, yeah. but if you did like this video, make sure you let us know and maybe we'll make some more videos soon. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for Love watching. So Bye!